After years of hard work, this fan from Westview rewarded his retirement the way all 412 fanatics should. The gift of a getaway, the ultimate fan clubhouse constructed by hand above his garage. Winning best fan cave addition to an existing home is Larry from Westview. Five years later, I kind of got it where I almost where I want it. Now let's head out to Westview for another great fan cave. This guy's a huge pit fan, so we love him automatically. Larry Harper, how you doing, Larry? Doing fine, how are you? So tell us a little bit about your fan cave. So I said, once I retired, I was going to uh, have my own fan cave, you know? So I built it from the ground, and this is all on top of my garage. We come here on uh, Sunday, and I have six TVs going, and we have a game on each TV. So I have um, I have everything you can imagine here. Uh, I have bobbleheads. I have uh, my rings, all my Steeler rings. <laughs> for all the Super Bowls. <laughs> I have a lot of the old 70s. I got a lot of their pictures up here. I have some signed. I really kind of enjoy my bobbleheads. Uh, it took me a long time to get them. I have uh, all the, all the uh, pirate greats, the uh, hockey, all the hockey greats, and all the Steeler greats and bobbleheads. I have uh, that right there, what you hear is my Steeler uh, cuckoo clock. <laughs> that's, uh, uh, that's the so it's just like going to the stadium now. There's no fans at the stadium, but you got a cuckoo clock that's making artificial crowd noise, too. Right. I got a Steeler massage chair here. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I like that. It doesn't you know? sound like you need anything, but what would you want? Is there anything you could add to that? I, I've had friends come over here and say, I want. they wanted to give me a housewarming, a Steeler warming. He said, but I, anything would be duplicated. <laughs> now, do you have a favorite item, Larry? I have a, a picture of uh, Lambert and uh, Joe Green that I'm pretty fond of. But I kind of like everything a lot. <laughs> you know, I can't even really pick one, to be honest with you. A lot of pride in Pittsburgh. A lot of pride. That's and like right. I said, I, I, come out at, I come out at Pitt. I was there when they, when they were on the top of the mountain, all of them, you know, and the, and the Penguins and everybody. So, you know, we still have bragging rights. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, maybe Pitt will get back there at some point. Correct. Well, Larry, it seems like you have a lot of great Pittsburgh pride. Thank you so much for showing us your fan cave. Oh, right. You are more, more than welcome.